move on now uh, to uh, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy, directed by Tomas Alfredson. Okay, um, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy <laughs> is a movie that takes place within the uh, British 1970s, I want to say early 1970s, uh, and it takes place within the British intelligence uh, during the uh, Cold War, the beginning of the Cold War. There's a lot of uh, red scare paranoia going on, and there's a lot of information that's traveling from one sect or one group to another and there's this fear within this group uh, this kind of tight-knit society they've built within themselves that there's might be a mole uh, who's uh, actually working for the KGB or working for uh, the commies and so uh, what you have through most of this movie is this procedural thriller kind of a slow burn uh, procedural thriller of them trying to weed out the mole and, and looking at each other and it's one of those things where by the middle of the movie everybody's a suspect and everybody has just as much reason to be or not be a communist uh, and the movie does a pretty good job at sort of introducing us to each character individually and getting and allowing us to get to know them so that we can see that they have their um, their uh, reasons why they could be, their motives, as it were, um, and the reasons why they might not be. And so it kind of toys with you throughout the whole movie. It's who it could be. Um, I like this movie a lot for its craft and for uh, the acting. I think everything, almost everything about this movie is, is really well done. The cinematography is great. The art direction especially is really, really good. Uh, there's, a, there's a lot of great scenes and shots where the characters are, are framed within doors and windows. And he's just kind of uh, playing upon the theme of framing and all of that kind of stuff, uh, both uh, realistically and metaphorically. Um, and all the actors give great A performances. I think, you know, uh, I think um, Gary. Gary Oldman has a very good shot of winning uh, Best Actor for this, which he's never been nominated before, believe it or not, mm -hmm. until this year. Um, what the problem is with the movie is that it's really, really dense. There's a lot of information. At any given scene, there's 17 things that could be happening. But it's very, very subtle about it. It, it doesn't give you a lot to contextualize any given scene. So uh, you really feel like you've got to pay really close attention to every single thing that's going on. And by the middle of the movie, since it's a fairly long movie, two, two hours and 10 minutes, something like that, by the middle of the movie, it feels like you've just been doing all this intellectual heavy lifting the whole time. And you start to get a little tired by the middle of the movie. Not bored, necessarily. I didn't have a problem with the pacing, which is slow. Um, and I didn't have a problem with uh, any of the way it was shot or anything like that. It's just the fact that it's so dense and the movie doesn't really do you any favors as far as uh, giving you a context for any given scene. So I almost feel like it's not a movie that failed me. It's a movie that uh, that I failed the movie. <laughs> like I feel like I almost need to see it again to really appreciate it more. But on a first viewing, I got to say I'm giving it a B minus because it couldn't hold my interest all the way through it, though the ending is very, very good. Yeah. Um, well, I give it another B minus as well. Um, I thought probably what it is is just to have to rewatch it. I thought there were yeah. a lot of uh, exposition problems, I guess. Yeah. Where there's a lot of stuff just wasn't Explained. making sense. You know, <laughs> you, you got people, you got two characters who haven't been brought up in the last scene or anything, and they're signing papers, and then you got another scene, and it's just like, wait, why? What was the point of that signing paper scene? <laughs> why was that even there? Mm -hmm. So I got a lot of that going on. In, back and forth. Um, I enjoyed the acting as well. The pacing was a little slow for me, but I did enjoy it. Uh, I th also have to bring up that I'm pretty sure this was just uh, Britain's response to J. Edgar Hoover. <laughs> yeah. They're just like, well, your president was secretly gay. Our entire <laughs> Secret Service is secretly gay because I'm pretty sure that's what the entire movie's really about. Almost every character. There's a lot of uh, funny scenes of characters kind of with lingering shots Very, at each other, or like staring at each they other. They are. They're just yeah. staring and they start crying, and you're like, wait, what? They all have hidden pictures of each other. Mm -hmm. No. 
The entire <laughs> 80s. It's a, it's a, it's a whole, <laughs> there's really a subtext going on there. All commies are gay and everybody's <laughs> gay, so. Um, actually, I would, would kind of have a theory about that. I think the, um, the movie is kind of emotionally distant. Yeah. Uh, the, the tone of this movie is very cold. Uh, and I think that that was Alfredson's attempt at humanizing this material by by putting in some kind of, like these moments of characters crying yeah. and and trying to show that they have relationships and stuff like that. But it, it doesn't completely work. I agree. Yeah, the emotional <laughs> element is sort of lacking. <laughs> Makes a lot of awkward scenes, but you know, still <laughs> well, a good. One. What grade did you give it? I gave it a B minus. B minus. Yeah, really yeah. well made, but just I don't know, just missing a couple bits. Yeah. <laughs>